have, they have handheld scanners for portable things. The only issue was it's a um, hundred dollars extra a month for it um, for the scanners, right. um, which keeps much, you know, you don't have to re-enter the data into, and it form, you know, takes, it um, puts it into a, um, the records and everything. So it we could may, be better. We may need to invest in that because I know that the Waitley Finance Committee is, and I, and I get it. They really want to know what, what numbers are being served by each, by each town. And I'm guessing each finance committee, each select board, everybody wants to know um, what, who are serving what, where and when and why so that we can always uh, improve those numbers and we can better track. So um, I, I don't know how we make that investment, uh, but I, I do think that it's an investment that we should make now because it's going to help us not just in, in, in this transition time, but it's going to help us perpetually throughout the, you know, in the, in the, yeah. in the future. Right. Well, I have, I have the paperwork on it and the information and the person um, whenever we're ready of course, it would need approval for the handheld yep. scanner. Um, so um, I have all that information. Okay, let's talk to, to Brenda and the budget and see what we can swing here. We have okay. anything is important. Gotta, what, what, what flexibility do we have on, on, on light items? And, and when I got to believe there's something there that, that, we can, that we can move around. Okay. Okay, so if, if I don't know, Trev, Trevor, whether you want to put that on your to-do list. Yeah, or I got it. Or, yep. Okay. Because that, that really is important, especially as we, you know, budget season is not too right. far. I'm just, I'm just so busy. Um, if yeah. I yeah. take no, down no, all, let Trevor do I have to input them all, you know, manually. They would yeah, all no, input yeah. it, right. like, okay. which is, which is very time consuming. No, I don't have a lot of when I'm yeah. there. Let, okay. let Trevor, let Trevor deal with it. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Um, uh, uh, Jeff, you want to give us an update on the on the uh, director search? Um, so I think the last time we spoke, we had eight candidates, and uh, we have three more. And Casey can correct anything I got wrong. Um, we are meeting tomorrow morning with the search committee to in executive session um to go over all the applications and do you know a, a first pass and decide who to invite for interviews okay all right well 11 is actually i i think 11 might be a, a high watermark for us in terms of our past resume numbers uh, so good uh, that, that that's that's promising especially in this um, market okay um What's the status on on um, on the uh, on the uh, meeting room at the church down the street? That's mine. Um, yeah. I so I did sit down with Reverend Reardon and talked to him about possibly putting a contract together. He was. He was going to talk to the diocese. I haven't heard from him, but I talked to our council and they have a contract that they actually worked with South Hadley on for a similar type of issue. So I haven't received it from council yet, but I can send it to Father John and see if he'll talk to the diocese about it. I guess South Hadley did this in their town with St. Teresa's. Okay. So it's progressing with a contract because I don't know how the diocese, who signs what. And is the duration of that contract open-ended? And that's the question for Reverend Reardon. Is he's got to give us some idea of what that contract could be. St. Teresa, in the case of South Hadley's, it's been over 18 months. They initially wanted it for a year and they've had to extend it with the help of the diocese because their senior center project has gone longer than they anticipated. So it may be if they treat it like the South Hadley contract it may be that that we might have a little flexibility i'm not positive yet well i, I, I again and this bleeds into the conversation about long-term solutions and, and planning but mm -hmm. I, I i'm a little i'm a little taken aback that it would that that it would be a longer rather than shorter period of time because i thought that we had 
been moving towards agreement in the last meeting that the goal was to um, to take out the carpet, fix the mold in the um, current senior center building and get seniors back into that building while we figure out the long-term strategy for a permanent home. However, was- we, we need money. You know, that's the part is no money. So um, until we can get together for town meetings and, and pony up some money to do this stuff, we're kind of in a holding pattern. We did because we were looking at a different avenue, you know, next door at the church, we did put money before our town meeting on Monday night and got money approved to start rehabbing that building. So, because it's a placeholder, you know, we didn't have a, we didn't have a warrant article for the South County senior center. We had one for the other building. So at the time we were kind of moving in that direction. So we did get that approved. The voters approved that last uh, Monday night. I think Casey has her hand up. No, I just wanted to let you know it's contingent on going through another process that I was going to discuss with the board. I've got something partially written. Okay, great. But but as Jonathan and Tom, as as Trevor just mentioned, we weren't able, we had a posted special town meeting warrant. We weren't able to pivot. However, I did send a claims request into the insurance company and I'm trying to schedule a meeting with the adjuster to walk through the building. I'm going to try to do it for Friday, if not Friday next week. And we are, I think, looking at even, you know, Casey and Jen are probably ready to hang themselves. Maybe another another special town meeting uh, because, you know, we still have we have stuff to do here. So. I'm blaming David for that. <laughs> We're trying to move forward, but it's, you know, the wheels of municipal government are, are tough. So so I guess I'm a little confused because I thought that we as a board of oversight had had made a determination that the congregational church or the former congregational church really wasn't the ideal building, but, but there's a, but, but you guys are, are, is we that- still, Jonathan, we still need to fix the, the steeple. We have stuff that we have to do on that building. Regardless. On list. So we just thought, Hey, the placeholders there, let's put up the money in case this board decides to pivot. At least we have it funded. We don't have to spend it, but it's there. And in, in case, you know, this board feels like it is, you know, a temporary spot. If father John falls apart and, you know, we're left with nothing to do, then, then we have, at least we have one avenue and we do have to do some, some steeple work. So, so, so is there any way, I mean, do you foresee a, a, a possible pathway, Trevor or Casey, whereby, you know, let, let's say in the best case scenario, we actually might get a little bit of insurance money um, for, for the basement. Um, and then maybe some of that money from the, from the congregational church can, can shift over to, to remediate the mold. Um, so, so there's a process, Jonathan, and I've gone mm-hmm. through it. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to tell you this is if they do decide to honor a claim for the mold, the insurance company will pay up to twenty five thousand dollars and they will give us a choice of three vendors from their list to come in and do some of that work. However, we will then have to fix however the water is getting in. We have to fix that piece of it. Yeah. So there may be an allowance to do some, but perhaps not all. I don't know how they're gonna treat the asbestos. I only know about mold because I went through it in Asheville. And I don't think we can take the money from the church and move it over. I wish we could, that would have been super helpful. We would have to go back to town meeting to- Reappropriate. Ask town meeting to approve the funding to be used for a similar purpose, but in a different building. Yeah. You guys have the stomach for that? Yes. I, I, think I, I need to hear what the insurance company says sure. from an administrative perspective, but I think the board would be willing to discuss it. And I did make a suggestion to the chair when I saw him yesterday that he visit with you. This was, so this was kind of David's baby. And I asked him to sort of visit with you and talk to you about this. So it might be useful if we could schedule a meeting and maybe we do a joint meeting, yeah. but definitely get his perspective as well as Trevor's perspective. Does that right. make sense? Fine. Okay. I just want to make sure that we are together t- together on this, right? Because I, I think, again, historically, this board has not seen the Congregational Church as a, as a real strong right. option for, for the senior center um, and, and, and putting $150,000 into that building if it's earmarked for senior center purposes i think might make it more difficult politically to find money for for find to find more money for Mm -hmm. a different location people are going to say well we already put 
yeah x amount into the church what, what are we doing here i hear you so i, I want to make sure that we're we're, we're we're strategically smart about this um yep. you know I, I i continue to hope that um that temporary buildings may may become available or again i i don't know what um I, I don't know what the you know we need to start start the needs assessment um, process. I haven't been able to follow. I, I know I've seen emails from from Chief Pachorik about the assessment. Um, I haven't read them. I'll admit because I just haven't had the yeah. capacity to. Um, I don't know whether there's there's a pathway um, for that needs assessment to move forward with the money that that, that is available from the FERCOG. Um, but. That's what I was going to explore, Jonathan. I did. I haven't reviewed it. Frankly, I was in the middle of prepping for town meeting and fallout from town meeting. Mm -hmm. So I looked at it today. I'm going to give it to the board in their mail for next Tuesday. But I don't know what the correlation is. And John, John's been as busy as I have been. So sure. we haven't had a, he and I haven't had a chance to sit down and talk about it either. But if we could find a pathway through to that, in other words, sign a contract. Yep. to get that started, it would be helpful in terms of moving forward for that, to get an idea of what the seniors in the three towns would like. Yep. But, but well, and again, I, I hope, and again, it may, it may be restricted because of, because of um, money issues, but I, I hope we can, uh, as always, include people who are approaching senior citizenum, citizen, right. chip them, whatever the... Yep. Uh, uh, and not just the the current ones, because we really need, do need a lens in terms of, uh, you yeah, know, what's it's, the sort of like asking, it's sort of like asking about where you, where we should go with housing stock without asking people who are about to enter the the the, the housing purchase age, and just yeah, ask. So we're, uh, it's even going to buy a house, right? Yeah, for sure. Sense. Yep. Um, okay. Um, am I missing anything, Tom? Do you have anything to add to this, or am I any any topics at all that I'm that I'm blowing over? Oh, no, I know. I for me the most for me the most important part is that um, we are all committed to the assessment program to identify what what is wanted, needed, um, and required at the senior center. So I would hope that we're not making too many plans um, until that assessment is done. Um, I, cause I I really think that that's. And then, and then, then once the assessment's done, then we can start talking locations. Right? And and mm -hmm. you know, if if we have to be if we have to be in the Pope John Paul for a little bit, um, and 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 the, the Catholic Church is okay with that, so be it. Mm -hmm. um, and if we have to go to the and 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 if we can get into the um, back to where we were. But yeah. I, I just think we have to understand what we want to do. You know, I, I, I just think that's important. And, and I, I think it's rather done now sooner rather than later. Let's put it that way. You know, that's, that's the only thing I'm concerned about. And, and, I, and I think it's important. I also think it's important to hire the, uh, it's, it's a, a very important to hire the director so that we can get, we can get the, we can get the team, the team, working together again instead of just depending 100 percent upon sue and any volunteers i i would like to add though if if sue if if there are particular days that you need help you know you also you also have the option of contacting the the mrc up in uh, franklin county the FERCOG, and you could ask the mrc for help also i mean because the mrc has been called in up to greenfield and other places to to put bags together for their senior center in Greenfield and Greenfield as well. So, I mean, way to get, you know, people to help. So, and I, I'll be, I'd be more than happy to help do that. Also. We, we have a, a great um, volunteer. We have people asking to help all the time. And it's just um, the problem is be, me being by myself directing people where to go and then also trying to take care of some of the daily paperwork um case and are great about that um yeah, just, I, I, mean, yeah, I, I was just trying to if 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 you need help and and again i understand we got you know we, we're very fortunate to have volunteers 
But if you do need any help, there, there may be other, please let me know and I'll, I'll work with you and, and try to get help from the MRC. Okay. okay. Well, uh, my concern right now is, is when we, if we transfer um, over to the Pope John Paul, um, my question will be, well, because I won't, we won't have storage over there. Um, I won't have access to uh, the phones, uh, computers, all or any of our supplies mm. that we have. Um, how um, oh Father John told us about, you know, a, a Google account for yep. a new number. Yep. But we have to figure out, because I'm on the, both computers yep. um, anyway. every day. And then, of course, we have all the files and all the information um, and any supplies that we need. Yeah, yeah. yeah. understood. Well, and, and that's, and that, that's true. That's why. And again, I think that it, and, and Trevor, I think Trevor and, and Jonathan understand it. it it's it's it'd be nice if, if we're going to be it, it'd be nice to get back into our present the present senior center and or the, the, the congregational church if that's the options that we have. But there's got to be we, we got to put some um, stability back into mm -hmm. the senior center. Yep. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. It's hard that, to work out of a key, That's the key word there, Tom, is stability. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's, it's waning right now. Un understandable absolutely. the way it goes, but we have to fix it. Yep. yep. Um, okay. Um, so, is there, so, so, so Casey's going to keep working with, with, with the father um, yep. on, on that. Um, and she's also going to be in touch with the insurance company in terms of what we think we can get to help with that, with, with, with fixing mold issues. Um, yep. And I, I guess we're in a holding pattern on the other things until we have that information. And then once we have the insurance information, we can figure out um, what, what we can possibly do to, um, to do the work, uh, cover other costs and get back into that building or not, but we need answers before we can make those determinations. Sue, do you have a laptop or is it uh, only a desktop? Um, I have only a desktop for my computer. There is a laptop for Christina's. So would that, that, would um, that be able to be used with the uh, scanner? I'm just trying to think if we had to be mobile over there. And I assume the scanner goes into a laptop somewhere or I don't know what it does. But I really don't. I don't know. You, okay. Yeah, you download okay. the information. Yeah. Um, so you, um, Christina's com um, laptop, you can access the um, computer information there, which I can okay. get in my senior center where I could uh, download the information. Okay. All right. Well, we'll figure that stuff out together. And, okay. Yeah. And Trevor, you'll, you're going to work with, with, um, on, on the, on the, yes, for the, for the scan the scanner thing. Yep. I'll get on that. Yeah. Casey. I was just going to say the, um, if, if Sue can send that to me, I'll have, I can have Brenda look at it. If you send it to me in, e in an email, Sue, I'll have Brenda look at it. Great. All right. um, because Thank you. I can get to Brenda faster. Yep, she can. And <laughs> as far as a computer, shoot, we text each other in the middle of meetings when I have a question. Yeah. Um, and she answers me all the time. She hasn't yes. cut me off yet. So, <laughs> but Sue, I was going to say the other thing is, is if we need, if you send us the background information on the scanner as well, we can see what we need for technology mm -hmm. to, to help with that because it may be that we utilize another resource, either another laptop, another tablet. Right. You know, maybe that's the way that we do it. Yeah, but we'll if, I, if I don't have anything to look at, I can't ask our tech, our IT people to help us figure it out. Yeah. I, have, I have her information on hold, I ending um the meetings and approval okay uh, just the other day so right uh, and so for purposes of approving it it sounds like the board of oversight is fine with approving it so if we just, there's a contract i can sign that contract that's yeah we just want to check with um with brenda on like what do we have for money where will we pull it from and all that, kind that of stuff. we probably city. have some I'm i can sure tell you right not. now we haven't been running programs the way we used to right but, but, because but, covid Right, right. But let's make sure we know and we can and we can quantify, for lack of a better term, where we're moving it from and to. Yeah. Um, so we can okay. keep our budgeting in order. The The last question I have on on this is I, I can't. In terms of stability and in terms of full staffing. 
Don't we have money for outreach coordinator position out there that hasn't been spent that we should be looking for an outreach coordinator as well? Absolutely. So here's the problem. The select board has, we've been, we've been talking with Franklin County Community Health. What's the rest of that? I can't remember the rest Sounds of that, like, Trevor. Sounds but like health. <laughs> it's essentially a community person that could help both the town and the senior center. And so the board went through this for months and I had said, and when Christina was here, she was very active in some of those conversations. And I had said, okay, let's think about how we want to do this because initially oh, the conversation with, um, that this. started included the senior center. All right. All right. So a piece of this Hold is, up. could we get better resources if we utilize a contract vendor that part of their focus is exactly this because some of the skills and some of the contacts that an outreach coordinator these people may already have and so that had come up and the board talked about it several times and eventually because we've been, I, I've had this in my head and I mentioned it. I don't think I mentioned it to you, Jonathan, but it's, it's sort of been in my head about how we could help the senior center. But functionally, we had to get through, how are we going to fund this if we were to do it? You know, because we, we have... weren't sure. And I did take their temperature at the state level to see if they would be interested in allowing us to do this. That was my if we write the request a certain way, in other words, if we're not supplanting local funds, which we wouldn't be, um, they actually are amenable to this. It's just they want to see what the work would be. What what happens with benefits, though? Oh, it's a contract vendor. You don't have. Oh, to pay okay. Benefits. Yeah. Okay. That's one of the. Uh, that's one of the appeal. That's an appeal of this. Well, right. Well, I, I think that sounds interesting. I, 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 this is the first time hearing of it. And, and again, it's the first time I, it dawned on me that we need to, to, to bring on that outreach coordinator position back again. Mm -hmm. But now that it's top of mind for me, I, I don't want the process to take too long before we figure out whether we can and can't do what you're suggesting, Casey. Does that make we sense? We can do it. It's we, just a question if we want to use SIG money. Or it, it could be attractive to use SIG money, and that's the money that we would have available. Well, um, if we want SIG to money, use it, pardon? Wasn't SIG money what we were using previously for outreach? Yes. yes. Yeah. But this is a different service with a different description. So that's why I took their, I took his temperature. I can't remember his name to my email somewhere, but I did speak to him about it. And it was, a, it was probably a month and a half ago. I asked him about it and he said, put together something with information, but the board hadn't followed through on whether they wanted to pull the trigger on it. Now there, there yeah, is another, right. we could do this through ARPA as well. Right. And so the we board have was more right. inclined to do it through ARPA. We, we've but authorized essentially we need a contract with community, Franklin County Community Health Program. So and my vote, uh, my vote was to use the ARPA money to fund our community outreach person. And, and if they can help the senior center, that's great too. And we could kind of mold this all in together, but, um, but I wanted to be clear that we, we weren't going to touch the SIG money unless this board approved that and was on board with it. So I thought, you know, so we kind of approved, um, a contract for community outreach, which is separate from what you're talking about, but similar um, because the town, the residents in town were really asking for help more than what, what we're doing right now. But we're, so we're, our plan is to authorize a contract using ARPA money to do community health work. We thought we could dovetail that into the community outreach that our seniors are doing. Um, but I didn't want to commit our SIG money until this board had a chance to think about it and talk about it. I wanted to make sure that it was funded um, wholly from ARPA, but we did find out in the meantime that the state is amenable to using the SIG grant for that. I just wanted to make sure that we weren't shortchanging any of the services from the senior center and that this board, the BOO, had um, say over what we're doing with that SIG grant money. If it, 
if it makes sense to dovetail it, that's great. But I wanted to keep them somewhat separate, but if we can meld them together with this group's blessing, that makes sense too. Well, if, if, if ARPA is already available funding for a, 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 an outreach, a community outreach person, and that person could can also do as part of that normal function, senior work, why wouldn't we also use the SIG money to, hire, to bring on somebody else and just add even, even more opportunity for outreach that well, then people could work together? That's what I thought their discussion should be, but because I, I don't know, you know, I think there's going to be a lot of pull on this ARPA funded position, and I didn't want to shortchange the work that our seniors are doing. So that may make sense that we have two, but Casey? But, but no, now here's it. why. It, it could be difficult from a communication perspective. If you cross channels with two different people, people will get confused. Yeah, well, but, I'm talking one for our seniors and one for our people will get. Public. I'm telling you, people will get confused if, but, if that but, message is not very clear. People will get confused. Plus, you have the other concern about hiring a person. There are un there are quiet costs, there are background costs to hiring a person. We're on the hook for unemployment. Mm -hmm. We're on the hook for a couple of other things, whether they're benefited or not. So my my concern would be keeping being keeping that in mind because that could turn into additional costs on top of a contract because you're already be, paying for some of that in the contract. It can be. I just my my biggest concern, as I said originally, is I do not want to dilute the service to the seniors with a community outreach person that then doesn't have time to address our seniors. The the other the other the other fly in the ointment, and I, and I'm surprised I didn't think about it when it was first mentioned is that the, the, the town of Deerfield is not going to hire a community outreach person who is also doing outreach in Waitley and Sunderland. Well, I mean, that's, that's what my, cons maybe yes and maybe no. I mean, that really, I mean, if they were addressing our seniors, I'm good with that. But they address I, all right. three towns. It, it does, it does. But, 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 it's, but the, the position is funded for Deerfield outreach. It's not funded for three town outreach. But we have a contract to write that we can consider that. Yeah, we can. We can because fund. the town actually provides certain elements of those services as part of the IMA. So assigning duties through the contract may not be a problem. Okay. Well, I, I mean, I, I we like, already have an IMA in place. Yeah, I, I, I get, and we, and we have to rewrite that. But yeah, you're right. Um, um, the, I, I like the concept, but I, I do want to explore whether we could, and I, I get the communications issues, but I, I want us to always be a group that asks how we can do something rather than asking why we can't do something. Um, and if we can increase our outreach because we have different sources of funding and, and being, be able to have two outreach people instead of one or one and a half or whatever that FTE percentage is, I, I think that we're, we should at least ask ourselves how we can make sure that communication doesn't fall apart because we have two people doing similar overlapping jobs. I just want to make sure that we have another body there at the senior center. I, I mean, I'm, right. I'm, I've been by myself for a long time now already. Yep. Yep, and right. I mean, getting things, you know, keeping it together, but um, there's so much more that can be done. Right. Um, that needs to be done. Uh, we, I've got seniors that are calling quite often, you know, wanting to find out um, you know, something that the out coordinator would take care of. Um, taking care of, um, you know, that piece where I'm not spending time on the phone talking to them or they come and talk to me um, personally outside, um, while I'm supposed to do something else, another, you know, another something else. So it's like, I'm doing multiple jobs here. Um, but I, I could really use another, um, box. and that part of this person has to be housed at the senior team. Um, yeah. so, well, that person doesn't have to be housed at the senior center. Especially well, if there is no senior space, a, a space for that person, depending on what happens with that building. 
during hours of operation, they should be at the senior center in theory. Possibly, but the state's actually working remotely, almost yes. completely. DEP is not going back into their spaces until next next March or April. I right. found I, that I, out this morning. I, I get that, but but again, ex, you know, the the former outreach person did a lot of hand holding at the senior center, um, and 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 she was a, a an essential extra pair of hands, um, and when we are back in operating business, we should at least consider the, the number of hands that we need while the seniors are in the building. And it just, it's just something for, for conversation. Okay. Well, I agree. Okay. Anything that, else? Um, Anything else from anybody, Trevor? No, I'm good. I'm all set. Okay. Just thank you again, Sue. I know it's hard and, uh, just you're doing a great job. Can't can't thank you enough. Okay. Well, we're exercise program too. As soon as we get into the church, we got a oh, um, a grant funded um, YMCA. Um, oh great. Program. That um, did Monday, work. Friday. Yeah, I worked it out with Jane and with Father. Jane's great. Um, yeah. I just got the information out there, and so people can sign up for it. So the exercise programs are are going really good in place. You know, at between Sunderland. Um, at the congregational church, that's where the Tai Chi is going to move to. And then at the yoga studio has the other two exercise classes. And then we'll also have, it's a different form of exercise, uh, a gentler one um, for people with arthritis or slow moving. Um, that will be held at the church. Um, and then we'll, I'm just worried about, you know, how much we can do with very little supplies. Uh, or, you know, yeah. able to take care of things. Yeah, Th those are things we need to, to we need to, to figure out over, over the next few weeks. So I, 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 I think we, as long as we have the, the, the to do list, the punch list, then we'll get those yeah. things ironed out before we're we'll figure it out. I mean, it, and the first first couple of months are going to be, you know, a, an adjustment. Uh, but yeah. um, I can and, think and, of and maybe it's maybe it's even more incentive. And. Yeah, cool. Maybe it's even more incentive to get people over. back into the into the original building for that would be get back into the original building or at least um, you know they feel comfortable there. Uh, they, they miss being in there. They miss being able to have lunch together, um, which we right. will not be doing that right away either at the church. Um, we're going to still we won't be not initially because we have to transition first. Um, we're going to do, we're going to keep the grab and go meals, you know, for right now until we can transition and then hopefully move into congregate meals. Um, that would also be more hours. Um, I'm only working till 12 right, right now. Right. So that takes, we'll have more time. We'll need more unless you hire somebody or, you know, thus, so. the, outreach, thus the outreach coordinator person, I, I think really needs to spend some time. In, in the center when the seniors are there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. This is great. You guys, thank you so much. Uh, everyone with their tasks, please keep us uh, on the, on the board of oversight posted. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Everyone. Yeah. Can I just, real quick. Um, the Sunderland select board had sent a letter to the administrators for the FRTA and PVTA on transportation. And it was oh. part of it was about the senior center and part of it was about our new senior housing complex that's going in. I just wanted to update the board that the uh, PVTA administrator had talked to the FRTA administrator. She called me back, um, Sandra Sheehan from PVTA and said that they're gonna, better understand the issue. I talked to her for a few minutes. They're gonna meet, but they would be happy to meet with the Board of Oversight once they have a better idea and some some suggestions for public transit for, for seniors. Great, thank you. you. Great. Timeline in terms of when they were gonna think about different been right here. But, So what I said is that my understanding from the last time we talked about it was we need to sort of figure out what our location, our permanent location is going to be. And we want to have a conversation to make sure that that location is serviced and there is a interim need, which we can try and discuss too. But that's really the focus is when we know where we're going to be making sure that there's public transit at um, 
access from all three towns. Okay. That's, that's wonderful. So we, we I'll, I'll stay on it and keep you posted. A year ago, it, you notice it was the PBTA, not the FRTA, right? Yes. Yes, the uh, PBTA would not come to the senior center. Right. Uh, recently, they did in the past, and then something happened quite a few years ago where they said they wouldn't come anymore. And you say mergers and acquisitions? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right, thank you, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Thank bye. you. All right. Bye bye.